Hello friends, welcome to a brand new tutorial in electromagnetics and antenna series. In this tutorial, we'll talk about loss tangent and its significance in solving numericals and um, we'll do the derivation of loss tangent as well. So let's get straight into it. By the definition of loss tangent, it is the measure of loss and is based on uh, the properties of the medium and it is depicted by tan theta and when we do the derivation of this loss tangent, we find that it's the ratio of the uh, lossy part to the lossless part of uh, the propagation and that can be that can be seen from Maxwell's fourth equation which is curl of H is equivalent to J plus curly D by curly T where uh, J is the conduction current and curly D by curly T is the displacement current and this is the lossy part of the um, propagating uh, wave and this is the lossless part of the propagating wave so the ratio of JC upon JD will actually give me the measure of loss or the loss tangent if you know the Maxwell's fourth equation it is just a, a matter of rearrangement of this uh, JC upon JD that will give me the loss tangent loss tangent which is given by tan theta l is jc upon jd where jc represents the loss occurred in the transmission or jd represents the lossless part so we can express jc in terms of sigma e and JD as J omega epsilon E if we consider this as sinusoidal propagation so E goes away so we are left with sigma upon omega epsilon and this is the loss tangent and you can clearly see that the loss tangent depends on the conductivity of the medium so it is based entirely upon the medium and of course uh, the other determining factors are the operating frequency and the permittivity of the material now there's one more relation which is important if theta n is the intrinsic impedance of the medium then twice of theta n is equivalent to theta l so this is theta l by the way so you could also note down this relation this is very important in terms of solving numericals now we'll talk about the physical significance of the loss tangent we know that the propagation constant in wave equation gives us attenuation constant alpha and phase constant beta and these two parameters are very important to understand the properties of a wave and you know the values of alpha and beta for general equations are these and if you wish to know the derivation and the origin of these equations you could refer to the video in the link you can see in these two formulas we see sigma upon omega epsilon square and our loss tangent is sigma upon omega epsilon this loss tangent is featuring in alpha and beta for the two cases that we have for good conductors we know that sigma upon omega epsilon is very very large than one and for good dielectrics we know that sigma upon omega epsilon is very very less than one and we do approximations for good conductors we neglect this one in the first stage and then we neglect one in the second stage and what we are left with is uh, the value of alpha 
and beta both they are left to just omega mu sigma upon 2 and for good dielectrics we know that when this thing is very very less than 1 we apply binomials expansion for approximation so we are left with two values of alpha where alpha is sigma upon 2 under root of mu upon omega and similarly we have a value of beta that you can refer from the previous videos but the fact of the matter is if we know loss tangent the super important point is that if we know loss tangent and its value is very very large or in other words if we know loss tangent and, and its value is very very small we can directly use the trimmed formulas we can directly use the short formulas for alpha and beta because we'll know whether we have a case for good conductors in hand or we have a case for good dielectrics in hand and i'll illustrate that with an example here for example you get two questions the first question says that you need to calculate alpha beta gamma delta delta is uh, by the way skin depth nu is the velocity lambda is the wavelength and eta is the characteristic impedance of aluminium with conductivities is given mu r is given epsilon r is given so in this case the first step is to calculate loss tangent from from this given set of uh, questions the first question clearly refers to good conductors because we can see the name aluminium but uh, for example this was working on 2 megahertz we can clearly calculate sigma upon omega epsilon which is the loss tangent and if the value of loss tangent turns out to be very very greater than 1 for example in this case we can directly use our formulas for alpha and beta here which are very very short as compared to these formulas so we put the conductivity 40 mega siemens per meter omega is 2 megahertz and epsilon r is 4 and epsilon is 8.85 into 10 raised to power minus 12 so that gives me 1.8 into 10 raised to power 11 um, you could check out this calculation and the other question also says that you need to calculate alpha beta gamma nu and eta i'm sorry at uh, 10 raised to power 6 hertz for damp soil whose epsilon r and sigma are given so the first step will be to calculate this value and if you find this value to be very very small as compared to one you can directly apply the formulas for good dielectric otherwise you can um, use generic values if the value is comparable to one that was the physical interpretation of loss tangent while we solved numericals i hope this tutorial was of help if you liked the video give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel as well and if you found this video useful share it with your friends and i'll see you around in the next video take care have a good day and a good life ahead bye